Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Total War with the 1212 AVD mod. Today we're continuing where we last left off, pushing towards the Hungarian Empire or what's left of it. Do they have more than these three regions? Like they, let's take a look, quick look on the map. So it seems like the color goes into Silesia. I'm not sure Bohemia is under, could really use a scout somewhere in here. Could use a scout even to try to find out the, like the different areas where we could like if I would have for example a spy then I would probably take it over the sea just to explore the north of Africa probably go towards Spain as well maybe in the north because this would open a, a situation where we can trade with the rest of the empires, right? It could offer diplomatic relations. And that could be really good, especially since there are so many resources now, and so many trade goods. Well, let's continue the game for now. Let's see where we're at. I'm gonna keep the money. That was one of the bigger goals here. So we're just gonna sit still and turn Assign skill wherever we need. We have this governor, so I guess I'm going to add with you. We're gonna go this way, reduce the construction costs. Definitely something that we will need. Or let's see. For Bogdan, you are here. And thus, even going for two authority might actually be the better choice. That would reduce it by two the points we're losing per turn. But we definitely need the construction because we're gonna have another slot soon. So I'm thinking I'm gonna add an Orthodox Church to have a good influence in the area. And with everything else that we're building, we should be totally fine. Yes, because our religious influence goes down here. We're influenced by, by uh, Catholicism. So that is not good. Definitely need a building to influence the areas. At some point we should stop taking any kind of orders from Bulgaria as well. How much are we paying at this point? We're paying 1300. That is a lot. So maybe we'll cancel, maybe after we're taking care of Hungary. We're gonna recruit a secondary army here and we're gonna start pushing towards him. Or maybe we would need like two more troops. These areas, like the cities, this city is big. Quite big. But the thing is, they don't really have defenses. Hmm. And then we have a gold mine. Yeah. Okay, well, let's take, uh, let's see, can I add someone? This guy is a politician, that's influence. I don't want to give them influence and replenishment. Okay, I guess we'll wait a bit more for a better governor. We'll probably marry him with our other daughter if we get a chance to do it. So we're going to expand. Let's see, they want a peace treaty, definitely don't want a peace treaty with them. Like, they, they betrayed us before, they're gonna betray us again, because we don't have good relations with them. Rampant piracy. So we're losing for free turn some of the commerce from naval sources. Okay, got it. Do I want to wait and transform this castle first? Well, I think it would be a better idea to change it here. Here we don't have new people just yet. Do I want to keep you here? Well, it, you do provide us with a lot of public order in, at the cost of food, so that is good. Then what I am going to work with, I don't think I'll be needing this in the future either. 
Probably not even this, but we'll see. I, I like the fact that they've added, you can see they've added public order to most of these buildings. And that makes the choices slightly harder. As you definitely want the public order. Like, it feels like you need it. We can make more... Tr oh, so we can reduce the state religion, but get more income from commerce and some road development. Man, they've really made these choices hard. But that is very good for us. Let's see. At this point, this would be 450 from substance. We're going to have... Yeah, so basically, we're not doing a whole lot here. We're just adding defenses, right? Because it's a large city. Then we'll do that. Let's work on having at least a few defenses against possible future enemies. Slavonia, they're missing food. We can repair the wheat fields here. Repair the smithy. The priory can be transformed as well. So we'll wait for that. An orthodox church has been completed here in Split. What would that mean for orthodoxy is going up? That is great. And it enables the recruitment of a priest. Public order, campaign spotting, and chance of being wounded after failure. We'll definitely going to recruit one in the next turn. And our troops will be replenished to push our people even further. We're probably going for Pex first. And then I'm going to go for Vesprem. On one side, it's pretty interesting to have like different regions that specialize in their own thing. But on the other side, it is a bit... It misses some of those combos that these games brought in. Let's see. Are we going to suffer attrition here? No. The winter is not bad here. So then I am going to be... Let's see, scouting. Okay, they have their armies there. And they have quite a few defenses. If I would like to come here, like I could... I'm going to try something. I'm not sure if they're even going to move, but I am going to work on having an ambush stance. Lying in wait. See if he moves towards this city, because this city is empty. They might just take the bait to attack it, at which point we will be able to ambush them. You, if I move you out of here, you're going to lose one public order per turn. If I bring you, but yeah, we definitely need to bring some support there. That's a six point improvement, so that is good. We're going to improve our situation by having the large city, I'm guessing. And on anything else. We can make something here. Instead of this military order priory, which is not useful for us. At least I didn't see anything that we could recruit. Nope. We can start making... have Icon Maker. And I think that is the best choice in this situation. Though... So sanitation, this produces sanitation and wine. Which could be good. But we're producing some wine here. I am going to be bringing this guy who's an elder, recruiting our priests. Oh, they have new portraits. That is quite cool. Freed slave gives him one authority. Mm, cunning means more cost, so we definitely don't want to use him actively. And Agent Self-Defense, minus 10% chance of wounding aggressor, that is not great. Let's see, can I recruit another one? No, that is our limit. 
Can I still convert these areas? The answer is yes. So do we want more wine or do we want osmosis? I guess we want the Christian, the Orthodox osmosis. And some of these areas are pretty bad. We've encountered the Kazanet of Kiev. Food shortage has been resolved. Yeah, okay. Well, let's take a quick look. The Duchy of Austria doesn't like us. We now have a new wife that provides plus 3 to public order when husband is governing and plus 2 to influence. That is really nice. Let's try to work on this. Trade? Nope, not yet. So we'll need more defenses, one against Venice and one against Austria. You. You are an administrator, so what I will do is that we'll throw you in... Well, I guess Zagreb could be an idea. Or here in this. In this we're producing slightly more money. So I guess we'll start with that. But we do not have enough money, so we'll wait another turn. Let's see what Hungary will do. Oh, oh. Ah. They found us. So now they're in fortifying, fortified position. Let's see, he wants... This man hungry for, for power is positioning himself. Okay, no. The rest of you will not be taking on positions unless I say so. Okay, you... So he was a general and he wanted a higher office. Nope, you don't have enough influence, you'll wait for me to tell you. Okay, with one of our sons here. We need him to be... Uh, he's a governor, this guy is a governor as well, he will need more influence though. With Basarab, we are going to throw him... We said earlier that we're gonna throw him in Nishava, just for now. And... I want to do something else here. We're gonna take her... Like so... Can we not marry yet? No, she needs 25 influence, so it's gonna take some time to get there. But maybe we can marry them. Okay, here we've been discovered. Yes, the ambush has been foiled. They have some Sekeli cavalry, some Servientes, a general, and the rest are spear. Like, we should be better than him here. He's running away. Good. That is good sign. Doesn't mean he's... Uh, really bad, but shall we go for a night attack? I don't think it would do anything for us. I like the fact that we've gathered a bunch of chevrons. We're gonna fight in the woods, which will make his troops slightly useless, or at least his crossbowmen will be able to reach him before he can do a lot of damage. Though at the same time, he's gonna keep to the heal, I'm guessing. So we're gonna have to work with him on that. Bring archers like so. Have the Moldavian warriors in the front. We're gonna keep Moshen in 
to the sides just to have a possibility to flank cavalry up here in the north we're gonna have our generals supporting the troops but i'm very curious one of the things i was very curious about yeah we're gonna come around here we're gonna fight on these sides one of the things i was very curious about uh, is whether playing other factions would change some of these menus, right? Because this is Christian iconry, and it's mostly Orthodox. I'm not sure that the Catholic will would have the same kind of background and paintings, and definitely not when you talk about Sunni faith or others. I'm guessing, well, in Africa, in the Northern Africa, I think it's actually Sunni all around. Right? We, we would have everything, like in Iberia, there's some Sunni factions. Tang there's Tangrenism. Now, I do not know a lot about Tangrenism, even historically speaking, so... Yeah, I wouldn't know what to expect from them as a decor, but maybe we'll find out in the future. Okay. They're repositioning. One of the good things that will happen here is that we will have some place to maneuver, but we're, we will want to go and use the forest as much as possible until we get to his crossbow some of the best things right now is that these troops are not that great we should be able to take them on so let's see we're almost done positioning now what I'll need from you it's a bit like so we're gonna take these armies and we're gonna bring them over here in the forest let's see that's the range so if we bring them like so it should be fine then with these ones we're gonna do we're gonna have like three in the front definitely some archers is our range a range is 150, their crossbowmen have 145, so they still have some power. Let's see, where is their range? Oh, are they moving? They've repositioned and they've spread themselves out so much. But I'm not even sure he knows what he needs. But that is great. Chaos is good for us. Okay. So apparently they're trying to move against us or something? Pretty in a move in a weird move, I would say. Seems like yes, they are trying to move against us. You go after them there. You stay like this. Ch charge his cab. Okay, we're gonna go like so. And then I'm gonna do that. We're gonna engage here. I'm gonna bring our armies there. I'm gonna bring these armies over here. Yes, of course, they are doing some 
good damage with their calf, but we've broken their calf there, so that is absolutely great. You go there, you go here. With you two, we're gonna bring you on this side. Yep, come here please, you come here, you stay on this side. With all of you, we're gonna start shooting at his general. Let's start moving our cavalry. I feel like it would be pretty important at this point. To start going after his crossbow. Yep, you engage there. Okay, and I'm gonna bring like these troops on this side. Okay. Let's bring you like so. Make sure everybody's engaged where they need to be. And I'm gonna use my general now to try to work on breaking some of their units. You, let's come like so. You, let's march you there. Okay. Go after those crossbowmen, please. I think his general might have just escaped. Good. Now let's put pressure on him here. I mean, we've taken a little damage, but not that much. Okay, where is the general? He's fine. Okay, those will be caught there. You come over here. Let's see. Their cavalry is still standing there still shooting so we're going to take more casualties here I believe you let's start shooting at him there okay so we've broken those units Let's break them here as well. Okay, and we'll march some of these. Let's just fast forward it here. Okay, I will leave the general to break. And hopefully we'll have these unit catch them. No, didn't work. Simple battle. I'm guessing it could have been worse, but it wasn't. So we might have to do just an auto resolve to make sure we break all of his troops. And then we're going to go during the next turn, I believe, to besiege his settlement. I want some Romanian cavalry that could be, or maybe it's like a Cuman cavalry or something along those lines. Some mercenaries that we could use. What do they have here? Militia spearmen, crossbowmen, 
some Hungarian knights and a spear sergeant. Ready for orders. And we have enough replenishment here that we can go right ahead and start besieging. Gonna take some time to build these. But I think they'll be fine. After that we're going for Vesprem, Estergon, and then we'll see. Yeah, still doesn't show exactly what territories were. Okay, Latin Empire. Trade? Not yet. Non-aggression. I listen and speak for my people in our dealings. No. Well, we'll have to see. Anything else we've gained here? A round shield. That's about it. We're two turns away from discovering. For getting 10 plus 10 to diplomacy with all other faction and some population increase. Great. Here we can now upgrade our weapons, but I don't want to. Let's wait until we can transform one of these buildings, I believe. Let's see. We'll, yeah, I'm going to keep you here for now. And I'll put you into Inspire Populace just to get that extra public order. Plus, using this priest to, to improve our conversion. Still need to work on Tergoviste here. Let's throw in another slot. And at this point we don't have the money, but I'm going to add an Orthodox Church next turn. And that is something that we will need to improve the situation. So there we have it, let's see, over here we can add, let's add the growth, I do like that. And we can still assign a governor, oh we are now at 8 governors. Well, not yet, let's not add anyone new, mostly because they're not of our family, we don't want to offer too many, too much power to the other factions. I'm not sure how bad are internal wars in this game. But we will have to discover it as we go along. Oh, by the way, today, like just a few... What, is, is it an hour? I think it is an hour already. The Creative Assembly just showed the trailer for a war, Total War Warhammer 3. I'm not sure if you are a fan of, to of Warhammer, but I have been a, a fan for a while now. Like, I don't know how I got into it. What is, what is this guy? Roman, a governor, minus one for public order. He's unjust. <sighs> it's just like our king is so bad. He's getting such bad rates. Why is he unjust? So he upgraded his trade to unjust. Yeah, well. Anyway, the so the trailer for Warhammer 3, like I got into the game at some point. I didn't really get um, at first into the Total War themes of it. But then somehow the story or the lore got to me and I started playing it. I started doing the Vermintide first of all and that, that I started to like a lot. Like I started to read through the story, through the lore and once I got into that, I think it was last year, maybe at the beginning of last year or the end of the year before that, that I got into... Oh, consumption is around. Eek. 
Well, that is pretty bad. Minus two to public order. I wonder, does this have effects on population? Well, it doesn't show right now. Okay, now we have plus 10 uh, to diplomatic order. Okay. What do we want to add next? Are we going to go for this with the reduction to our... I think, first of all, what we should be doing is go this way. We're going to get a Knez Palace, City Gatehouse, Stronghold, Engineer Workshops, Foreigner Camp, and some population growth, some integrity, some campaign movement for navies, which you don't really need, but we need these. It's 143 turns away. That's like a lot. It's a lot more important to go this way, I feel. Like these are 20, 30 away, yeah. The units. Do we have anything that would work as research? Population, growth, wealth. Yeah, so all of these just take 10 turns. But all of these start from 20 to 143. Last one to sanitation, minus 50 infectivity from disease, aqueduct. University from school. Okay. From an orthodox monastery. Let's take a quick look at this building. Is it school from one of these? No, it is not. Religion, Orthodox Kate. No. We're gonna take a quick look through all this, these buildings. It's very important to see where we can get a school from. A library would increase our research rate. We can already build it and it's from Platea. Okay. A boyar's palace increases population. There are some really good buildings here. A reduction in corruption, definitely something we need in a certain cert central region. Jewelers, architects, compound. Okay, so what I need is a platea and a library. Get it to university as much as I can. Garrison, agriculture, settlements. These are the normal one. Jewish, community, civic center. Industry. Some garrison, some military recruitment. Nope. These are ports and these are some resources. Okay, well. And we're definitely going towards this. Probably it's going to take 40 turns to get ourselves university. But adding a university would just reduce some of these. And I think we're be going to be fine for now not researching them. Plus one to sanitation is great as well. And we'll see after that. Okay, here we're almost at the breaking point. Tax rate, we, we can't really keep the tax rate in place. This will be too authority, let's see. If we stop taxing, would this area be stable? It still wouldn't be stable enough. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the priest to Turgoviste. We will need his help to improve the situation in the area. We will have an orthodox chapel in a second as well. At the same time, we can upgrade him, give him more local power. And what we will probably need is this, the spread of religion. Maybe even adding an extra point to inspire populacy. 
yeah, let's we'll add two points here. So elder and spiritual leadership, and we're gonna set it set him up over here. I am going to continue taxing the province. Here we're doing okay. It's gonna take some time until it starts creating problems. And this is all the time that we have for today. We're gonna talk tomorrow more about Warhammer 3, but I guess I'll put the question right now. Are you interested in playing Warhammer? Like, are you do you enjoy more historical titles than everything else, or have you gotten into the Warhammer universe as well? At least with uh, the Total War series. Until tomorrow, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all a wonderful day.